All right, I'm here with Aaron Bates, and uh, you may have seen Aaron, probably have seen Aaron on uh, TLC's 19 uh, Kids and Counting, um, the Duggar family. And uh, Aaron is on, on that show regularly. You probably know her as a pianist. And um, you may also know that the Bates have recently signed a deal with TLC uh, for their own show. Uh, the first special is aired, I guess, last month, and the new, a new uh, season is airing in the season. In, yeah, June. In June. Mm -hmm. And the name of it? I think that's, it, it might be still pending, but that's the, I think that's the plan. So you can watch for that in June. And uh, so I, t I wanted Erin to come over and talk for a while um, in my house, and she graciously agreed to do so <laughs> about music. I'm happy to. Uh, I, uh, I've admired her music for a long time. For one thing, she's young. She's only 20, and uh, she's doing things at her age that I never had the opportunity to do. And so I thought we'd talk about it and maybe inspire uh, some young uh, pianists. Uh, some new ways of thinking about learning how to play the piano. So thanks for coming. Oh, no, I'm glad to be here. Greg's always been my hero, so <laughs> I feel honored to be here. Thank you. I can't, I find that hard to believe. No. <laughs> but um, Aaron, tell us, take a few minutes and talk about your background, how you got started playing, okay. and uh, what age, and if your parents okay. made you do it, or how that happened. <laughs> okay. Um, before Mom and Dad even um, had a lot of kids, they decided that they were going to be musical, and they were going to practice and learn to be skillful on all musical instruments that, you know, they felt needed. And they, they knew piano was the foundational instrument. So they decided to start Zach and Michael when they were, I guess, probably five years old. And so they started them on lessons. And I remember hearing Zach and Michael play, and they loved it. And, you know, they were always bragging, you know, this is my new piece. And I, I wasn't ready to play yet. But I would go to the piano and um, just pick out what I heard by ear and Mom was like, oh my goodness, she's doing it by ear. So the next year she started me, and I started when I was, I guess, around seven years old, uh -huh. playing, and I took from a teacher that was, oh, she was so gracious. She taught me for free, and just the normal lesson, um, Alfred and Faber and Faber, we did those courses, and at the end of each lesson, she would go through and teach just a little segment on arranging and uh, hymn playing and improvisation. So that kind of gave me a basic foundation for um being able to do things uh, arranging by yourself. Okay. So that helped a bunch. And so you studied Alfred. Did you move on yeah. to classical music, the traditional? I did. Yes, I did. She had kind of the traditional route. And yeah. then I took from her for five years and then moved to other teachers. And they, they all kind of had a different emphasis. So I got, a, I guess, a lot of different styles. Too. So the, the, um, the, the thing is, though, she would take the 10 minutes of yes. a lesson and teach improvisation. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, that's the one thing that I never had growing up. Right. When I was 20, I didn't know how to do yeah. anything. So many teachers don't teach that. But it, it was so helpful to me. That kind of gave me the appetite to want to know more and know how to do it myself and be creative. Sure. My music. Yeah. And so did you study uh, arrangements as well? The I did. I did. Um, there was a lot of composers and arrangers that I liked. Um, Faye Lopez. Uh -huh. I really enjoyed her. She had some really neat runs and arpeggios. So what's what an arpeggio is? Okay, it's just... Broken chord. Okay, so playing a chord up quickly. Yes, yeah. yes. Who else? Yeah. Um, Rudy Atwood. Mm -hmm. he, he did a lot of bass runs, and I, I like that part. And Shelly Hamilton. Uh -huh. I think they all had high points and strong points that they were really good at. And I would be like, oh my goodness, how do they do that? So I would practice it till. I mean, it had to be perfect. <laughs> and so um, when did you start moving away from printed arrangements to your own your own arrangement? Um, at the same time, I was doing printed arrangements. I was doing my own arrangements. But I would kind of like go from their, their ideas and try to add them into my my own music. Okay. So I, I would be able to, I don't know, it was kind of still in their ideas sometimes, but sure. it taught me a lot. Okay. And mm -hmm. so you moved on from there and uh, started studying. Tell me this, did you ever want to quit? Um. Actually, I didn't. I was always interested in piano. Now, some of the mom required everybody to practice for an hour, uh -huh. and some of the practice times I'd be like, "Oh, this hour is just the clock moves so slow," you know. But it was, I I loved it. I loved more playing my own, you know, improvisation or whatever, my own hymns. But as far as playing the lesson music, that was a little harder for me. Is, I didn't enjoy as much. Do you do any, uh, do you play traditional classical music now, or is it only your own arrangements? No, not as much. I don't play it as much. I mean, I do because the finger works good and stuff like that. But it's not something I just like, oh, I'm just dying to play this. No, I, I'd rather play my own arrangements. So you focus yes, pretty much on I that. Do. Okay, so now what are you doing to improve in that area? 
Who do you study with? Um, I have two teachers right now. I study with Gina Milligan from the University of Tennessee and also Rachel Sigmini, uh -huh. and she's the pianist at Temple Baptist. Whom I remember when I was just Yes. Uh, yeah, she was a uh, little girl when I, I knew know. her. I know, it's hard to believe. Back in school, or teacher. back in church, yeah. I guess. Yes, Many but years. to me, I, I would love to have five teachers at once, just because everybody teaches so different, and there's so many different styles that they teach and emphasis that they focus on, so... I mean, I, I've had four teachers at one time before, really? and I loved it, yes. <laughs> and what kind of music do you like? Um, I love Southern Gospel. Uh -huh. I have a lot, a lot of Southern Gospel favorites that I like. And I guess it would be, I like a lot of classical elements and stuff in my music, but um, I don't know, I don't know exactly the styles, maybe. Um, right, what what yeah. artists do you listen to? Do you listen to uh, artists on regular Yes, day? yes. Um, Kim Collingsworth, uh -huh. she's one of my favorites. Um, she, I, I love her style because it's kind of similar to mine as far as her runs and stuff like that. And um, Dino, uh -huh. he, he's really cool. And Stan Whitmire, mm -hmm. he's a great Southern Gospel pianist. And I don't know, I have lots of favorites. Any outside of um, Southern Gospel? Um, I know some. I just have my mind blink right now. I don't know. Uh, I listen to Greg. Oh, that's good. That's the I was fishing for. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, he's great. Um, okay. So, and then those are your influences. You're studying. Yeah. And where do you want to go? What are you trying to um, go with this? Well, I am a music teacher right now. Uh huh. And I'd like to go farther with that. I'd like to be, you know, teaching as many places as I can. And I, I like doing group lessons. And do you do that? I do. I do. Group lessons? Yes, okay. I theory do. and... Theory, just different courses, um, him playing basics and accompanying and, I don't know, just basic. Sometimes I, I teach 40 students right now. 40? So, yeah. Individually? Yeah, individually right now. But really? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. That's a full-time job, isn't it? It is. Is that 30-minute lessons? Or? Yes, 30-minute lessons. Oh, my. So, yeah. <laughs> I teach four days a week, so it keeps me busy. Okay. Four days a week. Yeah. And so tell me really quick, because a lot of people will okay. be interested in this, yeah, the yeah. dynamics in a large family. Do y'all, how many fight over the piano every day? Oh my goodness. Well, some of them fight. Some of them are almost like, you have to do your practice. But um, I think 10 of us play. Uh -huh. Maybe 11 of us. And mom requires everybody to do an hour a day. So the piano is on like all day long. And it's on? <laughs> yes, it's playing. You know? Oh, it's playing. I was gonna, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. But... And, yeah. Okay, so and y'all have a schedule, or it's just first come first yeah, serve. Yeah, it's first come first serve. I'm usually usually at college or teaching at the place I teach at, so I usually do my practice in there. So, so you're going to college and the forty right, students, in right? The, yeah. Oh wow! It's a crazy schedule. Oh wow! But yeah, we share. It, it works out somehow. Well, cool. But, yeah. We should well, probably get another piano though. Yeah, y'all should <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks for answering those. Mm -hmm. And uh, in another segment, we're going to talk more about your recording. Uh, That's great. Career. That's awesome.